but check this out guys check this out <music> going on YouTube family and welcome to another video my name is Mark and I'm your realtor here in Dallas Texas and on today's property tour I get to show you this beautiful home almost looks like a castle uh, this home is a five bedroom four and a half bathroom just over 4,500 square feet of interior space and it's listed for six hundred and forty nine thousand dollars and when I tell you this house has two kitchens guys I have never seen anything like this before so super excited to show you this one uh, just looking at the exterior of this home double garage and they're both uh, it's wood look it's not wood per se but it does look just like wood I really love the the style that they did with that um, so you have brick all the way around the home dark accents as far as the trims go and then you also have some stone inlays here um, so let's take a look at you have double trees in the front yard so those will grow and mature um, I do like to have the double trees it kind of gives you a different little bit of a look and you just have your typical shrubbery right here so that's cool as well um, walking up to the entrance of the home you have this nice entryway it's almost kind of cathedral style and a nice little patio here to your left hand side so let's get on into the house so big eight foot wood door to enter and then you're greeted with nothing but open space so as you enter the house you can see your beautiful stairwell we'll get to that in just a second but to the left of the home you have almost two dining rooms it's pretty incredible guys um, they have the cove ceilings right um, definitely like it you have the trim there at the top coming down nice thick baseboards uh, these are oak floors and I love the color that darker richer brown and again this would be I would say the formal dining room in here is what I would probably use this space for. Nice little chandelier, plenty of natural light coming through all of these windows. So as we make our way back around to the right hand side, this is where your laundry room and where your garage would be. Nice tiles here in the laundry room. Plenty of space for your washer and dryer. And let's take a look here at the garage standard size two garage door openers now let's make our way into the kitchen guys and the living room so nice big island these are quartz countertops and I'm really loving that I use the stone as far as the backsplash goes you have your microwave and oven here and your refrigerator is over by itself here right into the left hand side The nice white cabinets and you have a five burner gas cooktop this island has got to be seven feet by probably six feet maybe five feet there really loving that looking really nice and then I love how they have the extra storage here below so you have extra storage down there Now let's come into your living room. These are 25 foot ceilings. And I love the fact they carry the windows all the way up this wall. It just keeps everything so bright in here. It makes it feel even more open. This living room is massive guys. It is just truly massive. This is your view from the kitchen where you can see everything. Everything is open up to the upstairs. So we'll go up there in just a second, but I'm really digging, digging that staircase. It's just really grand. So now let's look at this fireplace. Nice tile, beautiful hearth, and everything is already plugged up and ready for your TV here. And again, this goes all the way to the ceiling. This is a gas fireplace. So now I want to show you the thing that 
I've never seen before, right? Here's your dining room, your eating dining right next to the kitchen. But check this out, guys. Check this out. You have a separate kitchen. Your refrigerator goes there. You have a sink, dishwasher, and another stove. Wow, I just, I've never seen anything like that before. Let me turn the light on here so we can see. Oops, there we go. I have never seen anything like this in a, a price point like this. Stainless steel, another five burner gas stove. Um, these are granite countertops, but then you also have another dishwasher. So you can prep and cook everything in here and keep your house clean. And then this leads out to the back yard. So you have this covered portion right here. You're already plumbed for your gas there. And you have even more space over here on this right hand side. That, go, that door there goes into your master bedroom, which we'll get to in a second. But check out this backyard. Massive. So much space. And then you even have more space on this side of the yard as well. You have your AC unit there. There's going to be so much to do. So now let's go back inside and we'll go check out some of the, we'll go check out the bedrooms. So this is not considered a bedroom, but it is, right? So we're in a five bedroom house. There are bedrooms upstairs. This would actually be your office space. And it has its own bathroom as well. Nice tiles, full shower with a seat in there. And these tiles are, they carry throughout most of the bathrooms here in this house. So really, really nice. And you have a half bath here, right outside of the office space. And now let's go check out this master bedroom. So upgraded, upgraded carpet in this bedroom, you have a bay window just a lot of natural light coming through here. I love the way they did this inlay with the ceilings. And like I said, you have your door that leads out to your backyard. This room is huge. It feels like a living room in here. Like there's just so much space. I can't even, I can't even begin to tell you what kind of configuration I will put in here, but you have a, a load of options. So now let's check out this master bathroom. So you have your stand-up shower, his and hers vanities with the seating area for you know women to do your makeup. And you have your soaker tub with the pitcher window. And this house is on a corner lot. So you have your stall here for your toilet. And then you have your closet. And this wraps all the way around with plenty of space and storage. And you also have your hookups for your internet, any of, any of your electronics. So you want to put a sound system, everything would go here. Huge, huge closet. All right, guys, now we're going to go upstairs, check out your theater room and some more of these bedrooms. Man, I can't get enough of this staircase. It is gorgeous. It is gorgeous. So you have the wood staircase with the steel rods, and then you also have the inlay with the beautiful carpet. So the first thing we're gonna go check out is your theater room. But before we get there, you have this open space here. I would probably make this the game room, nice pool table, 
you already have your TV plugins ready to go. And let's check out your theater room. They've already got it painted, vaulted ceilings. They have everything hooked up, ready for the projector. And this room has its own AC system, so you can control the heat and cool in this room alone. Coming out of your theater room, now we'll head up to your first bedroom upstairs. Very good size. And then I also have something to show you with this bedroom. So first let's check out this bathroom. Very looking, very nice size bathroom. You have your shower, your stall, your vanity and mirror. And now let's head in here. Check out this bedroom, plenty of space. Loads of natural light coming in because it's on the front facing. And this bedroom comes with its own balcony, guys. You have your own balcony. So inside of that cove in the front, this is, you have your own little retreat up here. This is really nice. I've never really seen anything like this either, but it makes you feel like you're back in the medieval days and Rapunzel, Rapunzel let down your hair. <laughs> so as we come around, that was bedroom number two upstairs. Now we'll head into bedroom number three and bedroom three and four share a Jack and Jill bathroom. As you see, we come in here and you can come through your bathroom so you have your own sink. They both share the toilet and the shower here. And then you have the second vanity that leads into your fourth bedroom upstairs. So we got, again, guys, total four bedrooms upstairs. You have the game room, the theater room, and then also you have another bedroom downstairs. Isn't necessarily counted as one, but it has a window, has a closet. So this house in total is a six bedroom, four and a half bathroom. Beautiful. So that concludes today's property tour, guys. I definitely appreciate you for watching. If you're thinking about making a move to the DFW, feel free, give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email, and we'd be happy to make it a smooth move. And as always, I can't wait to see you around town.